Welcome to Northland Basketball, Northland Basketball, presented by Sports Zone Radio. Exclusive coverage of Navajo Nation and White Mountains varsity basketball online at sportszone123.com and on the Sports Zone Radio smartphone app. And now it's time for Northland Basketball. Hey everybody, welcome in to Northland Basketball here at the Sports Zone and welcome to the 2024 3A North Girls Region Tournament Championship Game. It's presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. They bring you all of our coverage throughout the season of Northland Basketball. And they're about set to bring us number one page taking on number two window rock in the 3A North Region Tournament. And when I say number one page and number two window rock, I'm not just talking about the seedings for the 3A North Region Tournament. I'm talking about the rankings in the entire 3A this season. Yeah. Page is number one going into the state playoffs. Window Rock is, is number two, and these two teams deserve to be right there. As good as you get in the 3A, and we're going to see what they can do in their efforts to win that gold basketball right there here today in the Region Tournament Championship game. And two outstanding coaches that lead this team there's a shot if you'll see it somewhere in there. there's gabby whitney the great basketball player from ganado a collegiate athlete who still has it we got to see her shooting yesterday and she still got it coach whitney just an outstanding leader of the program and she has breathed new life into the window rock lady scouts and on the other side another former great up here in the north how about Celeste Claw and the job that she is doing now after having taken over as the head coach for the Page Sand Devils? Boca Claw, the head coach, always, by the way, like her opposing opponent head coach over there, Gabby Winnie, always dressed spectacularly and looking, looking great again today and about ready to lead one of the best teams in the state. Certainly ranked as the best, the Page Lady Sand Devils, into this big one today. Let's turn it over to our public address announcer now. His name is Nate DeHosey, and he'll take over for the starting lineups. And the 2024 Choice Wireless 38 North Girls Championship Game. Tonight's matchup features the number two seed, the Window Rock Lady Scouts. And the number one seed, the Page Lady Sand Devils. <laughs> but first, ladies and gentlemen, before we get started at this time, we ask that you please rise and remove your head coverings. Veterans may continue to wear their hats while they render salute. The Wind Rock Lady Scouts and the Page Lady Sand Devils invite you to join us. As we honor America, our veterans, the men and women currently serving in the armed forces, and our first responders with the presentation of our national anthem. Here to present our national anthem in the main language, please welcome from Page, Arizona, Kella Smith.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet tonight's girls' championship teams. Beginning first with the designated visiting team, the Window Rock Lady Scouts. Tonight's fighting scout, introducing first the non-starter, sophomore number double zero, Allison Emerson. Sophomore number 12, Kelly James. Junior, number 13, Trini Harvey Begay. Sophomore, number 21, Courtney Bitsley. Senior, number 23, Arissa Hill. Sophomore, number 35, Shalea Yazin. And number 52, Elena Begay. Now let's meet the starting lineup for the Window Rock Lady Scouts. Introducing first, at guard, a senior number five, Asa Ryo Begay. At guard, a senior number 22, Malicia Nelson. At forward, a junior number 24, Devay. Forward, a senior number 32, Jada Brown. And at center, a senior number 34, Ray James. This is a starting lineup for the Window Rock Lady Scouts head coach, Gabriel Whitney. And now introducing our designated home team, the number one seed, Paige, Lady Sand Devils. Introducing first the non-starter, senior number one, LaShawn Dean Henry. Junior number three, LaLaura Yazzie. Junior number 14, Kristen Harris. Sophomore, number 15, Taylor Franklin. Senior, number 20, Tatum Curley. Senior, number 25, Caden Sinigini. Junior, number 50, Cameron and Sosi. Sophomore, number 52, Isiana Brown. Now let's meet the starting lineup for the Page Sand Devils. Introducing first at forward, a senior number five, Alyssa Harris. At guard, a senior number 23, Jane Reed. At guard, a senior number 30, Kylie Benoit. At forward, a senior number 33, Sophia Cambridge. And playing the post position, a junior number 45, Lee Kara Yazi. This is a Page Lady Sand Devils head coach, Celeste Claw. And there's your announcement of the starters for both these teams in the girls' championship here, 3A North Region Tournament. Welcome back in. Let me introduce the starting lineup of our, our broadcast team. Our producer, Derek Simmons. Not sure. Let's get a shot at him. Zoom in on Derek on the left of that screen right there. There is the producer who also, by the way, shoots a camera. When was the last time you saw a 
broadcast production producer shoot a a camera at the same time and be able to keep the production together and do such a great job. Nobody else out there does it. Derek Simmons wearing not just the hat on his head right there, but so many hats for us. Derek starts the game as our producer. Our technical director is Julio K. And on camera, Leonard Keone. And I want to say hi as well to Jessica K, who is here with us today at the broadcast center, Window Rock High School. And the opening tip controlled by the Page Sand Devils. Here we go, everybody. The girls' championship game is underway. And a quick turnover. That will give Window Rock their first opportunity of the afternoon, the late afternoon with some sunshine still out there in northeast Arizona. But the good news, a lot less treacherous weather to deal with, and hopefully the drive home today will be a lot better than the drives have been the last few days across northeast Arizona. There's a drive and a score for the Lady Scouts. Jada Brown strikes first. She was our sports zone player of the game yesterday in the Window Rock semifinal victory. This is a shot that misses for the Sand Devils and a long outlet pass that goes out of bounds. Nope, it's saved in. Sand Devils will have it, get an opportunity for their first points of the game. Welcome in here to Window Rock High School, the 2024 3A North Region Girls Championship Tournament game presented by Choice NTUA Wireless and a pass that's broken up and stolen by Melicia Nelson. Window Rock has it. Bray James thought about it. Get it back outside, and she threw it away. So we're having a little bit of an issue with our... A little issue, everybody, with our graphic on the scoreboard, and we'll... We'll work on that and get that set for you. I'll keep you up to date while we work on that technical issue. Let you know that there's six minutes and 28 seconds on the clock here in the, in the first quarter. And Melicia Nelson with the missed shot there. A 2-0, two 2-0 nothing, two nothing early lead for Window Rock. Sand Devils go to work and a nice little jumper in the paint. From about 13 feet away, Arissa Hale has her first points of the game. Boy, Arissa is next Next level, and when I say Alyssa, I do mean Alyssa. Alyssa is next level for sure. As a shooter, as a complete player for the Page Sand Devils. And they get the ball back. And we're going we're gonna to work on that scoreboard issue for you, everybody. I'm sure you'll be commenting on the live chat. And uh, we appreciate you for doing that. And we'll get a whistle early on in this one. I believe that was Asa Raya Begay stepping in from behind with some help defense. But a little too helpy. And a, a personal foul, the first of the game on Ace Araya. So the score here is 2-2, two two, inbound in the paint. Sophia Cambridge, the shot is good. For Sophia, she picked up the sports zone's player of the game yesterday in the semifinal victory for the Sand Devils. And a good delivery right there. Jada Brown at the top of the key, looking for the screen. Drive, kick out, shot on the way, and that is good for Devay Willie. Today has established herself as perhaps the premier three-point shooter in the North. If not, she's very close. She shows you why right there. It's her first shot attempt is good from outside. Sophia Cambridge. She's going to get a pass inside. That's LaCara Yazzie, the kick out. And that shot is no good on the attempt for Jade. Jade Reed's first shot attempt. Just a bit off the mark, five to four. Five to four, the early advantage. Belonging to the Fighting Scouts. And they're gonna try to hit the back door cut. And that one goes out of bounds. That pass, a rare miss on the pass by Melicia Nelson. I talk about, you know, the things that girls can do, uh, you know, some of the top talent in the, in the region. We talked about DeBay Willie shooting a moment ago. But Melissa Nelson might be the best passer in the North. She's in that conversation. And a shot block for Jada Brown. LaCara Yazzie tried to go inside. And that was rejected by Jada. And then outside to Alyssa Hale. 
Alyssa Harris. Am I going to get Alyssa's name right today? I'm working on it. Alyssa Harris. She has been our she's been our sports zone player of the game before. That was after the Sand Devils beat the Alcha State Falcons. And let's go reverse lay in. Today Willie adds another to her total. Cambridge with the runner. And then knocked out after the miss. Knocked out of bounds out. By who? Alyssa Harris. Alyssa Harris knocked it out. And into the game comes LaLora Yazi replacing LaCara Yazi. She'll uh, help set up some defense right there. A 7-7 seven to seven start at the, at the onset of this one, everybody. And the ball goes to the baseline. That's going to be whistled. Go the other direction. So if you'll pardon me for a moment, I'm going to try to step in with our guys and see if we can fix a problem with the scoreboard for you all. So listen and, and, and watch the listen to the sounds of the game. Watch the action on the floor. And I'll be back with you all in just a, just a couple of moments. As Alyssa Hale goes in, missed that shot. I'll be back with you in a, in a couple of moments. And that's the fastest couple of moments in the history of, of moments, everybody, because I'm back. I'm back because there it is. We got our, our scoreboard. All I had to do was talk about it. And this one is tipped out of bounds. Seven to seven is our score. There is a gentleman out there in our audience, and I'm pretty sure he's listening right now, although he might, he might actually not be listening because he might have been disappointed in the previous game. And he, what he wanted to mention was that, you know, there are some folks out there listening that have vision issues or have no vision. And, and so I try to be as descriptive as I, I can in the time allotted and also considering how much of a challenge it can be for an individual working a broadcast by themselves to continue the flow and continue to be as descriptive as possible, especially when you're doing a video broadcast where there is a picture that folks can see the action for themselves. You watch Window Rock with a steal and Ace Araya Begay in transition trying to get to the basket is fouled by Jada Reed going in, fouled to go to the free throw line for two shots. I'm going to try to be as descriptive as I can for those who have vision issues or no vision. But I apologize that, uh, you know, I took, I took a couple of breaks in the last game and maybe I wasn't as descriptive as might be handy and helpful to some folks out there. Do the best I can for sure. And I hope that uh, the, the picture in the description, the picture that is painted in the description that I I might provide is something that is uh, worthwhile and valuable to you as you listen while you are unable to see what's going on. So, Ace Araya Begay at the foul line, made one and then missed the second one, and it's rebounded by Lelora Yazi, and she'll come out the left sideline with the basketball for the Sand Devils. They'll set up shot with two minutes and 24 seconds on the clock in the first quarter, and a loose ball in the corner. Jade Reed able to pick it back up, but a pass from the corner is intercepted by Melicia Nelson, and she'll bring it into front court for the Fighting Scots. Here they go, and Melicia is hacked. And a foul will send her to the free throw line. That's a that's a that's the right call, the accurate call by the official that made it. That's that official is Mary Freddie, and we'll get a look at Mary here in just a second. You get a shot block right there, but oh my goodness, come right down on. Melicia's head. And that'll be the first foul of the game on Alyssa Harris. So our officials, there's Mary Freddy. Mary Freddy is one of our officials today. We've got something special for Mary right at the end of the first quarter. We're gonna we're gonna present that to her live in a broadcast. Brian Ekoff is that last gentleman you just saw right there. And uh Free throws good for Melicia Nelson. Melicia gets her first two points of the game. And the Scouts, number two seed in the tournament, number two ranked team in the state, get a chance to build on their three-point first quarter lead. Give and go. 
to Bay Willie, gets the pass, return pass from Willie St. Nelson, and then has it taken right away on a steal by Sophia Cambridge. Sand Devils take over the basketball. Alyssa Harris for the shot. Left side, that is going to be off the mark. Once again, the rebound is taken down by Winderwalk. Off the screen, Melissa Nelson decided to throw it back to her cut to DeVay Willey, but it is intercepted. The Sand Devils take it away. Taylor Franklin, the interception, out left side to Lelora Yazi. The jump shot is good. It's a two, and it gets Lelora's night started. For the Sand Devils, they trail by one. Melissa Nelson, send it, and the shot is off the mark. Rebounded by Bray James. A Soraya Begay's attempt, no good. Today, Willie open in the corner for three, and that's going to be just a little bit too much. She'll get the ball back after a rebound by Bray James. Working hard in the paint, and a hand check. In the act of shooting, and that'll send DeVay to the foul line. Cambridge is the lady that gets called for the foul. And at the free throw line goes DeVay Willie. DeVay, the early points leader for Winderock. She's got five points so far. A three and a two for her. By the way, on the other side, Alyssa Harris has a three and a two. Today has got a free throw, so her her scoring line in the in the book looks like a three, and then a two, and then a one. And if she misses this, it'll be a zero. It'll be a, a three, a two, a one, and a, and a zero. We'll see if now I want her to make the shot. By the way, and don't root for anybody to miss. And Debay makes it, so it ruins my little perfect little book thing that I was creating there. It's a three, a two, a one, and a one. And, for today, that's what she wants, and that's what the fighting scouts want. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. At the end of the quarter, we're going to just stay right here for a quick second. We'd like to do a presentation to one of the officials here. 20 seconds. 20 seconds remain in the quarter. Sand Devils. No shot clock, by the way, because they didn't need it. And Taylor Franklin didn't need anything but a little space to shoot the three, and she nails it. Seven seconds left. Alicia, left side, scouts. She's going to spin her way in and get a foul with two seconds remaining in the quarter. So she'll get two, two free throws here before the quarter ends. And the lady guilty is Alyssa Harris. And not, uh oh, watch out. That's the second foul of the game on Alyssa. Sand Devils don't want to lose Alyssa Harris. That shot just off the mark. Well, Melissa gonna miss both of them, and then lane violation. She saw it going. She saw the miss was gonna happen, and she jumped in there like we see a lot from these young basketball players. So you don't count that one. And here comes the inbound to Harris, and she throws it away, and time expires, and the first quarter comes to an end of this one. We're going to stay here through the break, but we will acknowledge that the 3A North Girls Region Championship game is presented by, it's presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Hey, let's get the officials over here, and that's Brian Ekoff. The tall gentleman on the left side of the screen, on the right side, with the with the, the classic Neil Yazi fade is Neil Yazi, looking good, and that's Mary Freddie in the middle. Mary, can you come over here? Hey, Mary. The sports zone, the sports zone, really appreciates the officials that cover all these games in the north and across the east. We got the names of all the officials in the region that work these games, and we did a blind drawing yesterday to award two $25 gas cards to an official and say thank you for all the hard work that you do. Congratulations on the, on the great work and your, your opportunity to do this game. And, and you are our winner. Congratulations. You want me to hold on to that for you? Pick these up at the end, okay? Mary, way to go. You deserve this. And all those officials out there deserve it. And Mary is the name that we drew and she just happens to be calling this championship game. We knew that she, worked, she was going to be working the tournament, worked yesterday. 
we didn't realize she'd work this championship game or that she'd even be here today at all. She she was mentioning something to the uh, to the to the. Uh, it's my mom, Adrian Murphy. Your mom. What's her name? Marie. Marie. So Mary Freddie's mother, Marie Freddie, might be watching our broadcast. 80th birthday. 80th. Hey, that's how do you like that? Marie gets a birthday present. By extension, her daughter got gifted that $50 in in fuel cards from the Maverick stores, and it's presented by Simmons Media and the Sports Zone. And congratulations to Mary. We appreciate these these great officials that call these games, and we encourage you to support these officials and maybe even become one yourself, because there is a shortage of AIA officials all across the state. And up here in our area as well. There's a takeaway for the Sand Devils. Second quarter underway, everybody. 12 to 12. Our score, not for long. Lenora Yazi has come out. And she came in off the bench and got a quick two in the first quarter. Now it starts the second quarter scoring with that big three on the left angle. The Sand Devils in front. Win to rock the drive. And it's going to go into the hands of Courtney Batsilli in the paint. And then she gets tied up. Sand Devils get the ball back. Folks, you might want to consider becoming an AIA official. We need more of them. Some games get moved around. And none of them ever get canceled. But I'll tell you, some of these officials that we talk to, they log an unbelievable number of miles, calling multiple games a week sometimes, and driving hundreds of miles over the course of just a two, three-day span sometimes. So more AIA officials are needed. And as a fan, I am a fan. I get to watch games as well as broadcast games. As a fan, I encourage you to support the officials. They are the authority in that game. They control that game. They make great calls and every once in a while miss a call. But they make probably fewer mistakes than any of the coaches or players combined in these games that we get to watch. So give them a break. Give them your support. And you know what? No game has ever won or lost on the call of an official. It's never done that way. If you lose a game by one on a bad call that you think is a bad call at the end of any particular game, I will guarantee you a lot could have been done during the course of that game to make sure that that play wasn't consequential. And, and with that, we'll get back to the game as you get a Sand Devil foul. And Bad news, Sand Devils. Alyssa, ha Alyssa Harris has picked up her third personal foul trying to defend Melissa Nelson. She is about to depart the game for Coach Celeste Claw. Just no question about that one, right? Alyssa working hard trying to trying to give some some defense to her team right there but you can't deny the foul and that's four points in the game now from Alicia Nelson she scored all of that at the foul line Cambridge bouncer inside and it's taken away by Bray James Nelson brings it up for the fighting scouts on the angle right side it's to Bay Willie. She thought twice about shooting the three and then dropped the pass back. Deep on the angle to Melissa Nelson. DeBay gets open on the left side. Skip pass across the court that way. And her shot is no good. Rebounded by the Sand Devils. Lelora Yazi up the left side. Picks up the dribble. Sends it out to the top. Taylor Franklin from the elbow. And her shot bounces around. And it goes in. Taylor's got five early points for the Sand Devils. They have three ladies with five. Taylor's got five. Alyssa Harris on the bench right now has five. And Lelora Yazi with five. And they've all done it the same way. One three-point basket, one two-point basket. Nelson drives, and it's blocked. Sophia Cambridge blocks it. Nelson gets it back, and her shot from the corner is no good. That's knocked out of bounds by the Sand Devils. There's the shot over the top. There's the ball kicked out. Here's the inbound for the Fighting Scouts to Devay Willie in the corner. She misses, and Lakara Yazi is there for the Sand Devils rebound. State playoff brackets are out. 
as we get this timeout. I'll be back to talk more about the state playoffs in a moment. Timeout for the Sand Devils in the second quarter. 17-14 score, Page in front. Stand by, our coverage of the 3A North Girls Region Championship game is presented by Choice and TUA Wireless. With Choice and TUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice and TUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice and TUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Do a shout out to somebody out there, longtime friend, Felicity Allen, sent me a message. By the way, better known as, as Flea. And Flea sent me the message with a, a picture of snow in the yard and said, This is why we are not at the region tournament games. So I guess they're uh, listening and watching our broadcast. So, Flea, I'm glad we can do that for you. And uh, where is that? What, what part of the part of northeast Arizona did you send that picture from? I'd like to find that out. Four minutes and 48 seconds on the clock with the inbound for the Sand Devils after the timeout. Sand Devils spent their first timeout right there. And the score is 17 to 14. Page with the lead. And a little difficulty keeping possession right here. They'll get it back, and we got eight seconds on the shot clock. Taylor Franklin, four seconds on the shot clock, and it's stolen. Good defense. Melissa Nelson was in Franklin's hip pocket the whole time, tipped it out. And the Window Rock Lady Scouts take over the basketball, down by three. Backdoor cut, Devay Willie, and she'll take it all the way back out. Circle around, looking for a screen, step back, 17-footer. No good. Jada Brown, rebound. The try there, no good. And eventually the rebound belongs to Taylor Franklin and then thrown out. And Coach Claw is not happy with her team's effort defensively there. She wants a little more discipline. She wants to take care of the basketball in that moment. Take your time, get the rebound, get a clean Outlet pass out of there. Go score some points. 3.53 remaining in the first quarter. In the inbound for the Fighting Scouts. A Soraya Begay now to Courtney Bitsilli. Looking for a screen. And it's dropped back outside to Melissa Nelson. She wants to drive. Kick back outside to DeVay Willie. And the Fighting Scouts going to take some time. DeVay, drive, turn around, off the glass. Look good. It was really a good effort by DeVay, just a tiny bit too much. And the Sand Devils bring it up the floor, and that's LaCara Yazzie who gets the feed from LaShundine Henry, who gets the assist, and LaCara's got her first points. For the Sand Devils. Shot on the way. And that's going to be a little bit off the mark. Jada Brown. Jada Brown misses that. It goes out of bounds. And the Sand Devils, another opportunity. That's how they do it. That's how the Sand Devils do it to you. They, they just, man, I tell you, they are got this way about them where a lot of times you don't feel like they're doing anything real amazing. They're just steady, steady, steady. And the next thing you know, you look up at the scoreboard and they have built a big lead on you. And they're starting to build one here. Five points, the advantage. And then a two-shot foul committed by, by Nelson. And it'll be the first foul on Malicia today. And, and only the second whistle on the, on the Fighting Scouts in the entire first half. And Soraya Begay had the other foul. Taylor Franklin at the foul line. That shot is good. She takes over the team lead in, in points. Scored with six points in this first half. Sand Devils, number one ranked team in the state. Franklin miss. Cambridge rebound. And then tied up. Tied up underneath. And Sand Devils are going to get it back. 
So after the uh, foul shot made, it stretches to a six-point Sand Devil lead. And then they run an inbound play to LaCara, but she was unable to make her shot. So Jada Brown, after the rebound, brings it up, looks for help, and gets the ball away to Arissa Hale, who has joined the, the lineup. She'll go back to her cut. The pass from Nelson was broken up, knocked out of bounds. Inbound play on the way for the Fighting Scouts. Let's see what they run right here. Shot clock has 16 seconds on it. So we make our way toward halftime. Inbounds to Nelson. Picks up the dribble. Pass comes in. And a foul. Trying to fight through the offensive player. And get the basketball was uh, Taylor Franklin. Non-shooting foul, non-shooting foul. But importantly, the first foul there on Franklin and the second team foul on the Sand Devils. 2.14 left in the half. Inbound, Nelson. Well, she had a chance at it, missed the shot, and then was able to dive. Hold on. Timeout from the Sand Devil bench while Lelora briefly had the ball in her hands and was trying to trying to get it to a teammate. Coach Claw called for a timeout from the bench right here. Lenora had it right there, and that's when Coach Claw called timeout. Eventually, Melissa got hands on it and said, hey, come on, man. The whistle was late, but we make the assumption that they awarded it, Sand Devils basketball, because Coach Claw was making that call from from the bench while Lelora had hands on the ball. 20 to 14, 20 to 14, the number one seeded Paige Sand Devils over Winderock. Let's get that, uh, throw that graphic up for the uh, Bronken, the, uh, the Bucking Bulls. We want to thank our, our newest sponsoring partner, partner Tallman Bucking Bulls, has joined our team here at the Sports Zone. Help broadcast our coverage through championship games today and the state tournament coverage that we'll have as well. If you're out there and you've got a business and you would like to take advantage of the coverage that Simmons Media and the Sports Zone are providing of the 3A North and 3A East here now for the rest of the season, you can join us by contacting us. You can send a message to 928-313-9800. It's 928-313-9800. Or you can send a text message to sports at sportszone123.com. Two-shot foul for Sophia Cambridge. And the, uh, the foul goes against Jada Brown, Jada's first foul of the game. Here's Sophia Cambridge. That is good. Thank you to Tallman Buckin' Bulls for joining the team here. And I found out just a little while ago, as you watch Sophia Cambridge make both of those shots, I found out from Bernard Tallman that his best bull in his collection of, of Buckin' Bulls, his best bull is called Army Slash. Army Slash. Sounds like the bull isn't quite undefeated, but that bull is... Quite a load to deal with, and we're going to see if we can get our tech technical director, Julio K, to climb up on Army Slash one of these days. Can we do it? Julio, will you do it for us? He'll get on board. And Jessica, you're okay with that? Jessica, his wife, says yes. I'm okay with him getting on board, that bull? I was just kidding, man. Julio, you're crazier than I thought. Our technical director, Julio K, is crazier than I thought. I am, I'm getting nowhere near Army Slash, but I am grateful to Tallman Bucking Bulls for joining us here for our broadcast coverage. Here's the drive, and that one's a little bit over the top there. Melicia unable to make the shot, gets it back in the corner. And the spin, that's to get back out of there. Jada Brown drives. Jada, she was our player of the game yesterday, and she got to the foul line a lot as you see the shot go up to try to beat the, beat the shot clock, but it, it could not. It did not. And 40 seconds left in the second quarter. 
Sand Devils take over. Try to add to their six point, make it an eight point, eight point lead right now. They lead 22 to 14. So, if you would like to talk to us about joining us as a broadcast sponsor for the rest of the season, 928 313 9800. Or you can email sports at sportszone123.com. In the paint, LaShawn Dean Henry, the shot, and there is the shot rejected by Melicia Nelson. Can I say it? Not in my Hogan. The shot block by Melicia. Take a look. Get it out of here. 22 to 14. Inbound, Sand Devils. Great play. And great mid-range jump shot by Sophia Cambridge. Five seconds left in the quarter. A Winter Rock miss, and the Sand Devils, the top seed in the tournament, showing you exactly why they finished the regular season number one in the state, number one in the north. And they go into halftime with a 10-point advantage. All right, basketball fans, we're going to grab us a timeout. And we will return in just a little bit. Break it down on our halftime report. Fantastic first half of basketball in the girls 3A North Region Championship game presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. What's your style? Classic, farmhouse, yeehaw, antique, contemporary, European, bonjour. The Furniture Gallery, located in Snowflake, are the experts to not only help you discover what makes you, you, but they'll do it with your budget in mind. The Furniture Gallery doesn't just sell furniture. They help you turn a house into a home where families laugh and celebrate, share a meal, and create lasting memories. At the Furniture Gallery, they'll do whatever it takes to make you a customer for life. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. The team at Beam and Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for Beeman Well Drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beeman Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beeman Well Drilling. If there's one player on the field that outperforms the rest, it's Perkins Cinders. Like any all-star, they put in the hard work by sourcing, sorting, and delivering all things dirt. Concrete materials, gravel, cinders, topsoil, mulch, and more. With over five decades of knowledge and expertise, manpower, and a whole lot of horsepower, Perkins Cinders will help you score that huge win with your project. Serving the entire White Mountains at PerkinsCindersInc.com. Get a load of this. What can you do for that special Valentine in your life? How about take them out for a romantic steak dinner at Cattleman Steakhouse, followed by two movie tickets to the WME Theaters. Then let them know their name is in the hat to win a Valentine adventure they will never forget. Premium VIP front row tickets to Blake Shelton live in concert with special guests Dustin Lynch and Emily Ann Roberts. And 
And if it couldn't get any better, add $1,000 cash. Happy Valentine's Day. If you have a broken windshield, call the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent and treat your Valentine to steak dinner, the movies, and a shot of front row tickets to see Blake Shelton live in concert and $1,000 cash. Call today. Welcome to the Mountain Mobile Halftime. A complete first half breakdown of tonight's Sports Zone Radio Game of the Week broadcast. This is the Mountain Mobile Halftime. Got the boys' three point shooting contest going on here for the 3A North region. It's underway right now. I recognize Jacob Yazzie for the Ganada Hornets. I don't recognize the young Chinley Wildcat shooter on the other side. And I don't have rosters in front of me, but they're doing the shootout out there on the floor right now, everybody. Somebody, uh, some of the comments on our YouTube live chat, we appreciate all of you out there. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, somebody said, Floyd used bailing wire for the fix. That was on the scoreboard when we were having that problem in the first, first half. Bailing wire. By the way, that was all capital letters. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe not this time. Maybe not this time, but we always keep some bailing wire on hand. Bailing wire, duct tape, we got it all. Somebody else said, said uh, let's see, Jay said, did you snap your fingers, Floyd? I don't know, but as soon as I put my headset down, everything was good. Hey, Leroy, watching from Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. There's your shout out, good to see you. Chris Peterson, that's, we know that guy. Chris Peterson's one of our shooters down in the Valley area. A great professional, Chris Peterson says, nice job, Simmons, great broadcast, okay. And, hey, production team, listen to this message from Parker Yazzie. I don't know Parker, but he says, yeah, eh, Floyd. Did I say that right? Does that sound right? Did I almost sound like a... <laughs> what did I sound like? I was from Cayenta or from from uh, Tisto? Yeah, more like Tisto. Okay, gotcha. Did I say that right? Did I say Tisto right? <laughs> okay. I always... You know what I always mess up on? And that's Chitty. Did I say that right? I did not? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. I, I always mess that one up. Okay, uh, that's our production team responding to me there, everybody. So Parker Yazi said, watching from Seoul, South Korea. This guy looks like Joe Walsh behind me. Rocky Mountain Way right there. Uh, let's see here. Parker is watching from Seoul, South Korea. It's Sunday morning over there, by the way. And he says, everyone here, listen to this production team. Everyone here in Seoul, South Korea thinks this is a college basketball game. You told me that, that it's res ball, reservation ball. How do you like that, huh? That's because you, Julio, Jessica, Leonard, Derek, you guys are doing a great job. Oh, uh, let's see. Somebody else responded to them and said, you can't get res ball in South Korea. Okay, we got somebody watching from Shawnee, Oklahoma. Serena says, thank you for broadcasting live. You're welcome, Serena. Once again, uh, somebody from Alamo, New Mexico has checked in. Let's see, who else you got going on out there? Somebody else, Drew Begay says, driving miles, 0.67 a mile. What does that mean, <laughs> Drew? Is that what you get compensated? Three-point shooting contest underway out here. For the boys. That's what you're looking at on your screen. Hey, Jonathan Nez, the uh, previous president of the Navajo Nation, check it in, says all the refs officials are appreciated, and I agree with that. Somebody wants to interview the fan of the year, the MVF, most valuable fan, Mo Draper. Somebody wants to interview Mo Draper. I don't know, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll ask Mo who the, the best players in the 3A North were this season. Ask him maybe what, what is the longest trip he's taken so far this year. And then, secondarily and most interestingly, how did you get there? 
How did you get there? Mo is very resourceful getting the games, and he gets to he gets to all the games. Let's see what else we got here. Somebody checking in from Grants, New Mexico. Thank you for that. Samuel checking in from the Begay Chainsaw Shop in Inscription House, Arizona. Thank you, Samuel. What else we got out there? Dallas Ray says, awesome. Thank you for the coverage. Watching from Wildcat Peak. Where's that? Where's Wildcat Peak? Don't know? I don't know where that is. Garrett is watching from Atlanta. How you doing, Garrett? And I think that just about gets us caught up on some of those shout outs out there. Thanks for checking in on our YouTube live chat. Somebody watching from White River, Arizona. That's Joshua. Thank you. Chi Town, spelled C H E Y. I assume that's for Cheyenne. It says, it says, out here in Rock Springs, Wyoming. Go, Coach Claw. I am not going to respond to Terry Davis. Ain't going to happen. Let's see. BG says, uh, watching from North Phoenix. Good job, Floyd and crew. Great crew, for sure. Let's see, Deontay Yazi watching from Tucson. Aaron Barlow says, great commentating. Thanks, Aaron. Go Page from Cedar Ridge. Bodaway, Arizona. That's Larry Hanks. Autumn is watching from Baltimore, Maryland. Says Go Scouts. Got somebody checking in from Peach Springs. Peach Springs, thank you for that. Thanks for being with us on our broadcast. Kenneth is watching from Monument Valley, Utah. Brian Toledo checking in from Glendale. Fitzgerald says Go Dan. D. Ray from Sawtooth. How you doing, D. Ray? Stacy says hello from Las Vegas Super Bowl. Go Chiefs. Somebody from Flagstaff, Sea Salt, checking in from Flagstaff. Got a lot of check-ins out there. Thank you guys. We appreciate that. Let me give you the numbers from the first half. Out today, Falcons, Chauncey. Chauncey Newhall has won the boys 3A shooting contest. He's taking pictures right now. Congratulations to Chauncey Newhall winning that contest. Today, numbers from the first half, the page lady Sand Devils, a 24 to 14 lead right now over Winderock and the girls 3A North Tournament Championship. Leading scorers Taylor Franklin and Sophia Cambridge each have six points. Lelora Yazi has five points. So does Alyssa Harris, five points, but Alyssa also has three personal fouls. And LaCara Yazi has the final two points for the Sand Devils. On the other side, Winderock is led by DeVay Willie, seven points for her. Melissa Nelson has four points, all of that at the free throw line. Jada Brown has two points. And Asa Raya Begay has one point. That's the Winderock total right there. Of the scouts, 14 points. They have scored seven. Half of their points are from the free throw line. You can bet that Coach Whitney wants to fix that here for the second half. For the Sand Devils, Coach Claw assured me that they would not come out as flat. And uh, how did she put it? Sleepy? I can't remember, as, as they did yesterday. They, they had a really slow start. She said, I'm going to make sure they don't do that. Their defense has been stout. Sand Devils have a 10-point halftime lead, and we'll grab a, a timeout, everyone. Just give us that, uh, that one of those messages from uh, Choice NTUA Wireless. Maybe uh, you pick the one. Maybe one of those headquarters messages. We'll do that, and we'll start the second half for you, everybody, here in just a moment. Uh, let's see. Third quarter on the way. It's... The 3A North Region Girls Championship game presented by Choice and TUA Wireless. Give me an F. S. Give me an A. A. Give me an F. Give me a D. D. Give me a D. D. Give me an E. E. Give me a B. B. Give me an I. I. Give me an L. L. Give me an F. F. What does that spell?
Yeah, thank you to Choice NTUA Wireless, the presenting sponsors of our broadcast coverage at the Sports Zone. They uh, they are partners with us all season long. They also partner with us on the Sports Zone's Northland Basketball All Star Games, which are coming up, scheduled we think for the first Saturday in June. So please circle that on your calendar and be ready to join us when we finalize our location. And I'll just say this: I I think I've been told I can say this. We are very certain that we're going to be brought. We're going to be carrying our games. Northland Basketball All-Star Games. <laughs> As the boom br broom pusher is getting a high five. <laughs> He's getting a great response from the crowd. Our Northland Basketball All-Star Games this year are going to be held at Chinley High School. The Wildcat Den. Centrally located for the uh, Navajo Nation. Remember that student athletes, basketball players, from New Mexico are welcome as well as DeFay Willie intercepts the inbound pass. Wow. DeVay read that one like a defensive back all the way. A great play by DeVay. And she's able to also cash it in with the basket. So good start for, for Winter Rock. And then very quickly after the steal and that basket you're looking at. DeVay has picked up her first foul of the game as we get the second half underway. Northland basketball and the 3A North Region girls championship game. It's presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. There's a runner that's up and high off the glass. Tell me that Jade Reed hasn't practiced that one a time or two. And looking good on that shot. That gets Paige back in front by 10. 26-16 as the second half gets underway. The Sports Zone's Northland Basketball All-Star Games uh, will be played at Chinley High School. First week of June. And we'll have pre-sale tickets coming up at a discount. Have those available real soon. We ask you to buy those. And if if we sell enough tickets, you, as a ticket purchaser, will have an opportunity at our game to win a, a substantial prize. We'll do like a half-court shot or one of those things and give you an opportunity to win a substantial prize. So I encourage you, get those pre-bought pre tickets when they become available soon from the sports zone. And also, nominate who you think deserves to play in our Northland Basketball All-Star Games. They can be seniors, juniors, sophomores, or freshmen. As Malicia misses the second of her two foul shots. 26 to 17, Page in front, they've got the basketball. Alyssa Harris comes back out to start the second half for the Sand Devils. She's got three personal fouls and she's got the basketball on the left angle right now. Dribble with the left hand. Throw it into Sophia Cambridge in the paint. Sand Devils working, and they're going to throw a pass in now to LaCara Yazzie. She missed, and then tapped it in. Great second effort by LaCara. And LaCara's got four points in the game. You can send your nominations for the Northland Basketball All-Star Games to our email address, sports at sportszone123.com. We'd love to hear who you think belongs. Basketball players from either Arizona or New Mexico, and we really don't mind where they come from. They come from all over the state. We just want you to send us those nominations for consideration. We'll get that to our selection committee. And eventually we'll produce rosters, and we'll have, we'll have some games that we think you're going to really enjoy coming up. In the month of June, our All-Star Games. Well, Kali Banal committed a foul on one end of the floor, and then she took it the other end, and she got some points for the Sand Devils. Melissa Nelson, no good on the three try. Rebound, Sophia Cambridge. And Devay Willie gets her hands in there on the ball to tie it up. And it belongs to the Fighting Scouts who want to... An early second half timeout. So while they call that timeout, if I can get a message to our producer and let him know, I want to want to highlight this broadcast team to our left, which would be on the uh, on the screen, your right. And these, you, you've seen these folks all over the Navajo Nation right here. And we want to, if you haven't, let's introduce you to Harrison Dehaya and Carol Tapaha right there from. 
KGAK Radio, Danae Sports in Gallup, New Mexico, 1370 AM and 97.1 FM. There's Harrison DeHaya. I'm sure you've seen him all over Navajo land. And their broadcasts, they do, but it's like 95 or 97 percent Navajo language broadcasts for these sports games. And if that's what you're looking for, that's what you want. You can listen to them online at KGAKRadio.com. That's KGAKRadio.com. Harrison DeHaya, Carol Tapaha, and KGAK Danae Sports Radio. Thank you to Tallman Bucking Bulls. Tallman Bucking Bulls, they've joined us as a presenting sponsor of our Northland basketball broadcast coverage in the postseason. Of course, our presenting sponsor of all this is Choice NTUA Wireless. Timeout taken by the scouts. They'll run the curl, and Melissa with the left hand unable to make it. And then a travel is called on the Sand Devils. Sophia Cambridge took the extra, extra step. Inbound on the way. And it works. It's good. Bray James takes the inbound. They run the play for Bray, and Bray makes, makes the shot. Boy, that was a hard, hard landing right there for Alyssa Harris. Well, I mean, that's definitely a foul. I don't think there was anything malicious at all about the Melissa Nelson foul right there. But like I said, that was a hard landing. That's like one of those those videos you see of those uh, World War II aircraft coming in on a on an aircraft carrier and you know missing one wheel and they come down come down crashing hard and spinning out and all that kind of stuff. That was kind of a hard landing. Fighting scouts. You know what I heard? Somebody maybe out there could confirm this. I heard that there is a I don't know how many. Navajo Code Talkers are remaining as you watch Jada go inside. Left hand, Jada Brown, well done. Navajo Code Talkers, not many are left with us. I heard that there was a gentleman, 107 years old, who was a Navajo Code Talker, still alive. Is, is that true? Somebody out there know about that? And can comment on our YouTube live chat? Amazing. Four and a half minutes on the clock here in the third quarter. Ball overhead, Bray James, and a pushing foul. That is going to work against Banal. Kylie Banal has now her second foul of the game. Take another look at Kylie. Making the tackle. We had talked in the previous game. I made a mention about uh, Troy. Hold on, I'll hold that thought for a second as we get the ball inbound to, to the window rock scouts. And the Bay Willie hands it off to Melissa Nelson. That's pretty classic window rock basketball right there. Other side, Jade Reed for a jump shot. And that one's no good. The scouts get an opportunity right here. They're down by seven, halfway mark of the third quarter in the girls' 3A North Region Championship game. I was talking about Troy King of the Chinley Wildcats, and I mentioned earlier that Troy, the way he had come in on a, on a drive and shouldered into a kid and knocked him over, I thought, like, that's a fullback. Turns out that Troy, somebody mentioned in, in the chat, Troy is a linebacker on the football team, an outside linebacker, and I could, could see that one all the way. Whistle and a foul. Jada Brown has two fouls in the game now. Jada with that foul sends Alyssa Harris to the line for the Sand Devils. Page 30, Window Rock 23. And Alyssa makes that one. And there's a miss, Courtney Bixilli has the rebound. Christine, Christina checked in, said yes. Arthur Kinsel Sr. is a Navajo code talker who is 107 years young. There's a whistle, offensive foul.
That's going to go on. And they're going to call that as the third foul on Jada Brown. Third of the game on Jada. Sandell just bring it up. So. Thanks for checking it. Thanks for giving us the word in out there, everybody. I really appreciate that. And yeah, there's Winter Rock getting transition points. Today, Willie is having a terrific game, isn't she? She leads the Winter Rock scoring with 11 points after that. And Alyssa Harris with an emotional response to that great shot that she put in. Draws the foul. Take a look. First at Devay Willie coming up the floor. Take a look at that. We're going to get a chance to see Alyssa Harris. Yep, all the way. Melicia argued and said, hey, come on now. But nope, not going to. Not going to win that argument for Melicia. That's personal foul number three, by the way. And there she is. Nice step under, trying to get some points back after the foul. And she does. And she'll go to the line. How do you like this action, sports fans? And how do you like Melicia? Up off the deck to make that noise. Look at this. Tough second effort by Melicia Nelson. Mish, as we know her. Second foul of the game was called on Taylor Franklin. Melissa got to be careful. She almost, almost with the lane violation right there. And after the make, Coach Gabby Whitney calls a Winter Rock timeout. They have cut the lead down to five, down to five points here in the third quarter. A timeout here on our broadcast. This is the 3A North Region Girls Championship game presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, serve, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. The sights and sounds of a 3A North Region Girls Championship game at Window Rock High School. This arena is second to none. So gorgeous, so beautiful. And uh, we love to broadcast from the home of the Fighting Scouts, who right now are battling their way back into this Girls Championship game. 238 remaining in the third quarter. 33 to 28, Page in front of Window Rock, and the Sand Devils will bring it in after the Scouts. And one a moment ago, completed by Melissa Nelson, and the timeout taken by Coach Gabby Whitney. Timeouts remaining, three timeouts for Winter Rock and three timeouts for the Sand Devils. Lelora Yazi dribbles and dishes, and then it's back outside to Sophia Cambridge. Here is Alyssa Harris. Drops one in to LaCara Yazi, the turnaround, and that's going to roll off. She traveled. See, uh, Carol says, watching from Tucson. Thanks, Carol, for checking in. Also, Velma, as we watch, Melissa gets work done. Nelson. She has breathed new life into the Lady Scouts in the third quarter. She has scored eight of her 12 points in this period. Down to a three-point lead for the Sand Devils and a whistle and a foul on Courtney Bacilli. Melicia says, come on, bring, it, bring those defenders out here. Three defenders in the neighborhood. Couldn't stop Melicia Nelson. And it's like Ariazzi after the Courtney Bacilli foul. Free throw is good for Lakara. 34 to 30. Coach Claw 
trying to work toward getting a 3A North Region Championship, something she is very, very familiar with from her playing days. That one off the mark, but the offensive rebound to the Sandellas. Here they go. Franklin, right side. Henry with it. And then back outside. 34 to 30 with a minute and 20 remaining in the third quarter. Sophia Cambridge traps. And it's knocked from her hands out of bounds. They're going to call a foul on that. They're going to say it was a bit silly that committed the foul. Courtney has three fouls in the game now. Sophia Cambridge to the free throw line for the Sand Devils. The first one is going to be a little bit off the mark. And that one off the mark as well. Rebound. Scouts. Bitsilli ahead. Begay has it. Oh, nice cut. Beautiful pass. That's what makes Malisha Nelson so special. On the backdoor cut to Ace Araya Begay. And there's a runner that misses. 52 seconds left in the quarter. I'm going to correct my scoreboard. Is my scoring that wasn't Ace Araya a moment ago. It made the shot. The scouts have tied the game. Sophia Cambridge coming up big and breaks that tie for the Sand Devils from the baseline right side. Great little jump shot. Nice touch on it by Sophia. 36-34 Sand Devils. 10 seconds left in the quarter. Another great pass underneath. And the reverse lay in by DeVay Willie. Malicia Nelson is a magician as the buzzer beater doesn't go in for the Sand Devils. And Winderock from 10 points down ties the game at the end of the third quarter. What a girls championship going on in Winter Rock. Watch Melissa Nelson do her work distributing the ball. There's another assist. And then I think we've even got one more look at Melissa Nelson. We won't see it right there. Doing a great job getting her team involved. Quick timeout. Back in a moment. Northland basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Not only does Perkins Cinders dominate site excavation, driveway building, and underground utility installation, they operate cinder pits and mines where they are literally crushing materials year-round. Don't just finish a construction job, crush it. Perkins Cinders, helping you get a load of this. As we get this fourth quarter started, somebody checked in on our YouTube live chat and said that Thomas H. Begay, Navajo Code Talker, is 100 years young. Mr. Begay, thank you for your service. Uh, thanks are not enough. There's no way to thank somebody like Thomas Begay enough for the service. John Kinsel from that we mentioned earlier that we think is 107 years old is from Luca Chukai. And somebody checked in and said there are only three Navajo Code Talkers remaining. Backdoor cut. And a basket is good for Alyssa Harris to start the Sand Devil fourth quarter. And it's 38 to 36 as we bring you in to start this fourth period. The 3A North Region Basketball Girls Championship game presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Another terrific Malicia Nelson pass. 
Jade Reed is the lady that committed the foul. She's got two fouls in the game. Watch the pass again. <laughs> She's just got such a such a quick release, and it's always, it seems, right on the money. Isn't it? Here's DeVay Willie. Alicia's given you a, a clinic out there in how to, how to pass the basketball. And we really haven't seen a lot of her great one-handed no-look passes either. She's got that whole thing in her, in her tool bag as well. DeVay gets the foul shot. We'll see if DeVay ties it. The Winter Rock fans let you know that, didn't they? Tied the game. Two for two at the line. Great fourth quarter developing the drive. Alyssa Harris missed. Sophia Cambridge followed. She got the tip back up and in for the Sand Devils. So these teams come out, start the fourth quarter, successful on the first three offensive possessions, two for the Sand Devils, and now a three on the way. Melissa Nelson missed it, tipped it. Pizzilli got it back and gave it up. Lost her dribble. Sand Devils bring it up the, front, the, uh, the court, and it's tipped off of Cambridge. Pretty tall pass, and she couldn't bring it down, and that goes out of bounds. Jada Brown, who got in foul trouble, come back to the game now for Winter Rock. She's got three personal fouls. And we'll see what she can contribute here to the scouts down the stretch. They've got Jada Brown and Bray James. Melissa Nelson, Asariah Begay, and DeVay Willie. And a three-point try is no good for Asariah. Rebound, Nelson. Going to get it back again after a miss. Tied up, Sophia Cambridge. And that is a battle going on out there. Possession arrow, window rock. And they're going to inbound underneath the basket. The Sand Devils are defending. Makes it their basket, by the way. Here's the drive, and a foul. Nelson going to the free throw line. Cambridge in the paint committed that foul for the Sand Devils. And Mish is at the line. Um, uh, Melissa Nelson has 12 points. 13 points. DeVay Woolley leads the scoring. 17 in the game for DeVay. She has been the beneficiary of many of those Melissa Nelson passes today. What do you think melicia has got? Does she have maybe 10 assists? It's a great number, and there's a shot of the great crowd here at Window Rock. Drive, and a foul. And they're going to call Window Rock. Holding foul. Zavay gets the foul. Zavay has two personal fouls here in this. Well, we'll begin our playoff coverage here at the Sports Zone coming up. Inbound to Banal. Kylie Banal pulls the trigger in the corner, and the shot is good. 43 to 40. Page in front. We'll start our playoff coverage on Tuesday. Girls playoff basketball Tuesday, a first round playoff game. Then Wednesday, another first round playoff game, this time the boys. The second round is played next Friday. We'll have another game then, and a game Saturday in the second round of the boys. DeBay inside, Willie misses the shot, got it back. Nelson. And her pass is broken up and stolen by the Sand Devils. Hey, uh, Harris. The finish. Alyssa Harris delivers, and the Sand Devils are in front by five. 45 to 40. And Lenora Yazi gets a piece of the wrist on the shot attempt by Melissa. That is uh, Lenora's first foul today. You watch Harris go to work. And Alyssa Harris has 12 points in the game 
For the Sand Devils, here's Melissa Nelson at the line. That shot is good. Winderock is five for five in the fourth quarter at the free throw line. Hey, we remind you to, if you're going to get a NFHS Network subscription to watch playoff basketball, we remind you that the Sports Zone has exclusive rights to cover the. 3A quarterfinals, the girls next Monday, not this Monday, but next Monday, and the boys the following Tuesday. And we would ask you to wait until they update the brackets. We know what the matchups are going to be, but they will update those brackets with the names of the teams in the matchup. That gives us an opportunity to schedule the broadcasts on the NFHS Network after next Friday night's girls games. So on Saturday, we can published for broadcast on the NFHS Network. The girls' quarterfinal games. So, as you watch Jada knock down a much-needed long-range two-pointer. Much needed by those scouts, of course. And we get to the halfway mark of the fourth quarter. I remind you that we would ask you to not get your NFHS.com description nfhsnetwork.com subscription until next saturday or sunday how do you like that floater moving to her left Alyssa harris having a big fourth quarter she got six points in the fourth quarter for the sand devils 14 for the game 345 left in regulation uh, drive by melissa nelson and melissa gets that one she's got 18 points takes over the team lead in scoring now and it's a one-point Sand Devil lead, 47-46. Sand Devil's got the basketball. And Laylora couldn't make the baseline runner. Bit silly, the window rock rebound. Here they go, up the left side. Going to take their time, try to grab the lead here as we get toward the three-minute mark in the game. From the elbow left side, we're getting an offensive foul. Jada Brown had the ball, but the off-ball foul is committed by Melissa Nelson. And now, be careful, she's got four personal fouls. These two teams have first-round playoff buys. The Sand Devils play their first playoff game Next Friday, the 16th, against the winner of Ganado or Payson. There's Jade Reed getting a little short ranger. Second basket of the game for Reed. 240 remaining in regulation. 49-46, Sand Devils. Malicia pulls up. The 17-footer is money. And a timeout from the window rock bench. On the make, my Malicia, watch it again. Lose the defender and hit the big shot. With all that pressure, how do they do it? And it's why they're so loved by the fans because most fans know just how hard it is to do that right there. Throw those banners up again for Choice Wireless and Hobart Family Dentistry. Sponsors of our coverage of Northland basketball. Let's get it. Let's get something up there for. That's Hobart Family Dentistry. Big thanks to them. And let's also recognize Tom and Bucking Bulls. Tom and Bucking Bulls. How do you get a bull angry enough to, to first toss and then trample a man. What do you got to do to him? You got to, like, uh, not feed him for a couple of days? Proud reaction to that foul right there. And the whistle is on Lakara Yazi. Some might have thought Alyssa Harris was going to get the foul. Lakara picks up 
just for first foul of the game, and that turns the possession back to Winterrock. Can they grab a lead right here? Going to be a great last two minutes. What a shot by Melissa Nelson. How did she do it? Mish ended the first half with four points. Now with 18 in the second half. And Lacara's shot rolls off. Rebound scouts. Who've now taken the lead, 50 to 49. Nelson outside. 20 seconds on the clock. Melicia. Bitsilli outside. Bray James. Back to Courtney on the angle. And she's got to look at three. And the shot is good for the scouts. In front by four. Harris on the drive. That shot is good. Alyssa Harris has eight points in the fourth quarter, 16 in the game. And a full timeout after the make by the Sand Devils. You look at that shot. What an effort by Melicia. And then it's Courtney Bitsilli with the three-point basket that gave the scouts the lead, well, stretched their lead. Harris gets two back right there. And a great job by our production team giving you an up close and personal look at the action here from Window Rock today. Everybody, a minute 16 remaining in regulation. Thank you to Choice and TUA Wireless for their presenting sponsorship of the 3A North Region Basketball Tournament. Thank you, Holbrook Family Dentistry. Great partners of ours here at the Sports Zone. The Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint. And here in this fourth quarter, 53 to 51. The Finding Scouts, White Mountain Regional Medical Center, the hospital in Springville, is going to present Sports on Player of the Game after this. And Tallman Bucking Bulls has jumped on board. Tallman Bucking Bulls has joined us for an eight second ride of, of Northland basketball. Inbound and a slow walk into front court by Melissa Nelson. Looks for the screen from Bray James. Came off that and then brought it back outside. To Bay Willie. To Jada Brown. Jada curls around. And her shot is blocked. Offensive foul on Jada Brown. Four fouls on Jada in the game. Watch it again right here. Is that Laura? I think it was Laura that came over and stepped in and took the charge. Great job by Laura to get there and get the return of the basketball. But Sandavis can't score on that possession. 32 seconds left. Time out. Winter Rock. Northland basketball fans, how do you write this script right here? How do you write it? That Window Rock, whose girls program has struggled quite a bit. They've been struggling over the years. They've had moments, had some teams, and then they're down, and then they get a team with some talent. They have the James sisters and, you know, did pretty well. But they have all of a sudden been instilled with another level, a next level, to, in my opinion, of, of discipline and and confidence under their new head coach, Gabby Whitney. And they are playing at home for the 3A North Region Tournament Championship in front of their fans. And that's just a, a script I don't think you could have seen three years ago. Great job by Coach Whitney and her, her staff or team. But guess what, on the other side, that is a great basketball team, the Page Sand Devils, and they've got time right here to take this take this away from the scouts. If the scouts trip up at all, Leilora Yazi with a hand check foul. Five team fouls and two shots on the way for Melissa Nelson.
Nelson to the foul line. Winderock leads 53-51. 25.7 seconds remaining. Clutch foul shot made. And the Sand Devils spend a timeout. We're not going anywhere. We're staying right here, folks. Don't want to miss a don't want to miss a moment of the action here in the final seconds of the girls 3A North Region Championship game presented by Choice MTUA Wireless. This crowd loves it. How'd you like to be here if you're out there watching this game? Don't you wish that you were right here? And don't you <laughs> don't you love the cats? Don't you love the cats? Thanks for your check-ins out there, everybody. Thanks for checking in. Hey, uh, our friend Flea out there, Felicity Allen, says on the live chat, Sports Zone, says that Tallman Bucking Bulls should call a future bull Sports Zone. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Or, or maybe something, figure something out. How about, uh, I'll come up with something else. We got to work Derek's name into it. That's what we got to do. We got to do that. Somebody out there checked in, said MVP, number 22, Melicia Nelson. How about the game she is having on this massive, massive stage? She missed the foul shot, but got her own rebound. You got a foul, I think. 54-51, there's no shot clock. Yeah, they needed to foul. They waited and burned too much time right there. Needed to foul right away. Because just one free throw makes it a two-possession game. Lelora committed the foul, her second of the game. You can tell what Melissa just did if you close your eyes because the Windorock fans, very responsive. <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> the Nelson free throw makes it 56 51. Windorock has a two possession lead. Timeout taken by the scouts. Nope, it was Sand Devils that called the timeout with 12 seconds left. Sand Devils have to get an inbound, get a quick basket, get the ball back immediately or somehow get the ball back, try to get something done. That's a great crowd. Hey, right here, there's Marcus Nelson. Come back down. You see him, Marcus? And one of the young ladies from last season's Winter Rock, Winter Rock team, she's gonna she's gonna kick me for forgetting her name for the moment. She's gonna kick me. Twelve seconds left in regulation. Inbound, and that try no good. Rebound, Winter Rock. Foul with five seconds. Scouts are going to the foul line. Scouts going to win a 3A North Region Girls Championship game. That gold basketball is right there. One free throw guarantees it. But a five-point advantage is already really enough because what can the Sand Devils do? Make a shot? You don't have to inbound the ball after the shot make if you're a window rock. You can let it run out if the Sand Devils somehow can even get one shot to go in these final seconds. There's DeVay Willie at the line. There's Coach Gabby Whitney pacing the sidelines. That very stoic, serious look on her face is going to turn to a big smile here in just a moment. Shot is good. Inbound. Don't have to defend it. Goes out of bounds. Stops the clock there. Got to throw it in. 
And the Sand Devils are going to graciously allow the inbound. And a championship for Window Lock. The Window Rock Fighting Scouts on the 3A North Region Tournament Basketball Champions. 57-51, you see the score right there. We're going to turn things over to the public address announcer, Nate DeHose. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the core presenting the Sportsmanship Awards representative from uh, Choice, MT Wayne Wireless. sportsmanship-like qualities, both on and off the basketball courts. These are sportsmanship qualities that follow NTUA's motto of teamwork and respect. This year from LHSA High School, Lady Falcons from White River, Arizona, Katira Springler. From Chinle High School, Lady Wildcats. From Chinle, Arizona, Nevaeh Gishi. Ganado High School, Lady Hornets. From Ganado, Arizona, Jayanna White. Monument Valley High School, Lady Mustangs from Kienta, Arizona, Danae Parrish. Devils from Page, Arizona, Cadence Synegeny. <laughs> Tuba City High School, Lady Warriors, Tuba City, Arizona, Cambria Honani. Window Rock High School, Lady Scouts, from Fort Defiance, DeVay Willie. Yeah. 
NTUA and Choice NTUA Wireless congratulate each of the lady recipients here today. We applaud the coaches and families for supporting their student athletes. Good luck to the teams that advance to the state finals. Thank you for the fans for great sportsmanship and uh, following their, your teams this basketball season. Safe travels. Akeha. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we will introduce the honorable mentions for 2023-2024 for the 3A North Region Girls. Introducing our first honorable recipient, honorable mention recipient from the Monument Valley Mustangs, Keliana Maria Mayava. Honorable mention from the Ganado, Lady Hornets, Jason McIntosh. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Windrock, Lady Scouts, Asa Raya Begay. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Windrock, Lady Scouts, Jamie So. Honorable mention from the Page Lady Sand Devils, Kylie Benal. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Page Lady Sand Devils, Lelora Yazi. Honorable mention from the Page Sandivals, Aubrey Martinez. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Monument Valley Mustangs, Corey Sandoval. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Monument Valley Mustangs, Jazana Miles. Honorable mention from the Chin Lee Lady Wildcats, Georgia Vasquez. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Chin Lee Wildcats, Nevea Jishi. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Window Rock Lady Scouts, Bray James. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Ganado Lady Hornets, Jana White. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Tuba City Lady Warriors, Kiana Susan Yadami. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Chinley Lady Wildcats, Jana White. Honorable mention from the Ganado Lady Hornets, Sheena Smith. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Alchese Lady Falcons, Ramona Gregg. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Alchese Lady Falcons, Alyssa Jim. Honorable mention from the Chinley Lady Wildcats, Hanukkah Niz. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Monument Valley Mustangs, Kaylee Manygoods. <laughs> Honorable mention from the Alchese Lady Falcons, Cameron Nachu. Honorable mention from the Tuba City Lady Warriors, Thalia Klitzo. <laughs> and honorable mention from the Tuba City Lady Warriors, Tracy Sinigeny.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to the honorable, honorable mention. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we will present the 2023-2024 second team all-region recipients. Introducing first from the Monument Valley Mustangs, Kieran Mann. Second team all-region recipient. From the Monument Valley Mustangs, Letitia Mute. Second team, all region recipient from the page, Lady Sand Devils, Jade Reed. Second team, all region selection from the Tuba City Lady Warriors, Natasha Akofley. Second team, all region selection from the page, Lady Sand Devils, Likara Yazi. Second team, all region selection from the Chinley Lady Wildcats, Jaden Lynch. Alrighty, introducing the first team all region selections from the Tuba City Lady Warriors, Ariana Begay. First team all region selection from the Page Lady Sand Devils, Sophia Cambridge. First team all region selection from the Window Rock Lady Scouts, Jada Brown. First team all region selection from the El Chazé Lady Falcons, Jaslyn Nosey. First team, all region selection from the Chinley Lady Wildcats, Ariana Begay.
From first team, all region selection, from the Ganado Lady Hornets, Faith James. And first team all region selection from the Chinley Lady Wildcats, Koa Yazzie. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to our first team selections. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing our selection for the 3A North Defensive Player of the Year from the Window Rock, Lady Scouts, DeVay Willie. And now introducing our 2023-2024 3A North Offensive Player of the Year from the page, Lady Sand Devils, Alyssa Harris. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the 2023-2024 3A North Region Player of the Year from the Window Rock Lady Scouts, Malicia Nelson. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to our defensive, offensive, and players of the year for the 3A North Region. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, presenting to you our 3A North Coach of the Year from the page, Lady Sand Devil, Celeste Claw. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we will introduce the 3A North regular season champions, the Lady Sand Devils of Page High School. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 3A North Region Tournament Championship Trophy to the Lady Scouts of Window Rock High School.
So they're taking uh, some final photos here, everybody, and uh, congratulating the champions. And Bray James, right there in the middle of that photo, <laughs> one of the biggest smiles you're going to see. That is delight, isn't it? And how about Ladies the rest of that great team that have come up with come up with a, a championship here in the 3A North Region Tournament. Congratulations to Gabby Whitney, the head coach of this team. Congratulations to the 3A North Region Player of the Year, Melicia Nelson, who we will talk to in just a couple of moments. We'll talk to Melicia. We'll talk to DeBay Willie as well. They are our Sports Zone Players of the Game, presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. We'll get a chance to talk with them about what it must feel like for those young ladies and that basketball team to get this win and get ready for the state playoffs coming up soon. They will be the number two seed in the tournament. And the team that Winderock defeated, the Sand Devils, will be the number one seed in the upcoming state tournament. Stick around if you'd like to hear from the heroes of the day. And how about Melicia Nelson? Great players do great things in the biggest moments on that big stage, okay? They just do. We saw it earlier today for Monument Valley with Yuzil Flores and that amazing performance he gave that just built on the great performance from yesterday as well. He was unbelievable yesterday in helping Monument Valley beat Page. And he was extraordinary today in the championship win for the Monument Valley boys. And Melicia Nelson did the same thing today. She was great all game long. She spent about the first two and a half quarters just getting her teammates involved, distributing the ball a lot. And then when they needed her to take over offensively, that's just what she did. Nelson in the fourth quarter was seven for eight at the foul line. And she scored 13 points of her 25 in the fourth quarter. She had 21 points total in the second half. Melissa Nelson showed just how exceptional she is, and she deserves, she absolutely deserves the 3A North Region Player of the Year. There's no doubt about it. Congratulations to Alyssa Harris of Page, the Offensive Player of the Year, and congratulations to Vey Willie, who is the Defensive Player of the Year in this one. Let me give you those, Mary. Enjoy that. Congratulations to the Winderock Lady Scouts, to Gabby Whitney, their head coach. Taking some of what uh, she, she was as a basketball player, both a great high school player and a collegiate player as well, and imparting all of that experience and wisdom to her young ladies and, and uh, bringing a lot of discipline to this Winter Rock team. Great job today. The other team, the Sand Devils, boy, they are just uh, equally great, aren't they? And we might be, we might have seen a preview of the state championship game. They'll be on opposite sides of the state championship bracket. And it will be the Winter Rock Lady Scouts sharing the same side of the bracket with the Sholo Cougars. Sholo Cougars, the number three seed in the upcoming tournament. Everybody's saying hi. We're about to talk to DeVay Willie. Why don't we do that, everybody? Thank you all for hanging on with us into our post game. We appreciate you out there, and we've got just a few more minutes left. If you'll stay with us, indulge us, talk with our players of the game. What a wonderful job they have done today. And DeVay Willie is getting all mic'd up. Make sure, DeVay, you hold that mic real close, okay? Okay. All right. Let's get back to our festivities. The 3A North Region Girls Championship game is completed. And Winter Rock with a win over Page, 57 to 51. Floyd Simmons here bringing you back, everybody. The 3A North Region Tournament presented by Choice NT Way Wireless and our player of the game. We've got two of those. We'll talk to, to the first one here. It's presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. And we are joined now by DeVay Willie. Hi, Hi. DeVay. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm watching you run around out there and play, and you were having so, so much fun. Yeah. Um, I saw a smile on your face a lot today, and none bigger than after the game when you finally won the championship. But <laughs> tell us about the experience for you. 
Um, I just love playing with these girls and they bring me so much joy and I really believe that having fun will um, let us win games and yeah, just having fun and getting our momentum going and um, scoring basket after basket, it, it's just a really amazing feeling. It's amazing that you can talk about the fun that you have when there's also a lot of hard work that goes into it. Coach Whitney really drives you, drives this team. There's so much discipline and the expectations are so high. How does that all translate into still a, a fun experience? Um, you know, um, we still do hard work at practice and all the blood, sweat and tears um, just came up to this point and that's what we worked for. And yeah, just, yeah. Debe, you played a great game. You scored 18 points. And again, you showed us how deadly you are outside shooting those threes. That's so, so good, so tough. And where did that come from? Because I know you've been a good shooter, but you must have worked a lot in the off season because your shot has gotten even better. Yeah, um, last year, everyone kept telling me, stop hesitating, you need to start shooting more. And yeah, I just shoot the ball. I have confidence in my shot and they fall, yeah. Probably, by the way, displaying the defensive player of the year award plaque that you just got. That is beautiful. You, you like that thing? Yep. Take pride in defense? Do you take pride in your defense? Um, yes, I do. Um, like Winnie said in one of her interviews, um, she really depends on me on defense. And Mish, too. Mish is a really good defender. Um, I'm just, yeah, I, I really do take pride in my defense. And uh, about this game itself, you know, you, you beat the number one team in the state. You beat the top seed in the tournament. You beat the Sand Devils. A great team. Yeah. What was the real secret today to getting that win? Um, I think just stopping their threes because last time we played them, they, um, they had a lot of threes and just playing aggressive defense on them. But, yeah, just, yeah. How happy, how proud are you right now? I am so happy, I'm so proud. Um, we've come a really long way um, since last season, and I'm just so proud of these girls, and yeah. Devay, congratulations. Thank you. You earned it. And Thank you. Go enjoy it. There's Devay Willie right there, everybody. One of our Sports Zone players of the game. It's presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. She is also the Defensive Player of the Year in the 3A North region. And, uh, and the smile and the tone says it all doesn't it says it all i'm going to talk to her teammate who picked up the player of the year in the re uh, in the region don't block your play hold that plaque why not she gonna yeah grab that plaque when you get a chance we want to see that there we go there we go but you're gonna have to also hold the uh, microphone somewhere in there mish all right let's get this done Hey, back in our, our player of the game. We got two of those today in the Window Rock Lady Scouts victory over Page in the 3A North Region Tournament Championship. That's brought to you by Choice NTUA Wireless. Player of the game is presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. And joining us is the great Melissa Nelson. Now, Melissa, congratulations. Thank you. How does it feel? It feels amazing. Like we worked towards this the whole season, and it feels amazing. Melissa, great players do great things on the biggest stages. They just do. I mean, Kobe Bryant and uh, Michael Jordan and Caitlin, what's Caitlin's last name? The, the college basketball player. Clark. Caitlin Clark, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and now, Melicia Nelson. What a performance you gave out there, Melicia. You were never phased by the pressure and the big moment and the big crowd. Tell me what it was like for you going out there and battling today. I knew my team needed me the most, and I had to step up as a leader and take control and guide everyone on the court, and that's what a leader does. Yep, that's exactly right. And for the first about two and a half quarters, most of what you did offensively was get the ball in the hands of your other teammates. I don't know how many assists you had today. Had to have 10, had to have 12 assists. You did a great job distributing. And down the stretch, against that great page defense, you had to take over scoring and you scored a by I think 12 in the in the fourth quarter you had overall in the game 25 points tell me about the moment when you decided I have to start attacking I've got to start scoring for my team um I don't know it was just, it just came to me and when I knew the opening was there then I take it and um yeah I just it was just in the moment I guess yeah it's it just kind of 
cruise control, right? Yeah. Or business as usual. Nope. I do what I've got to do. Was there ever, ever any doubt in your mind down in those nope. final moments? All gas, no brakes, all gas. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so awesome. So now you win this. Now you win the uh, the tournament championship, and you get to look forward to the playoffs. You're number, the number two seed. You've got to go through, I'm sure somewhere along the line, there's going to be a matchup with the Sholo Lady Cougars. Yeah, I, Sholo's yep. really good. It's going to be a tough tournament. Do you have what it takes? Does this team Is this team built to win a championship? Yes, we are. Tell me what you've got to do then in the next couple of weeks to get there. Um, it just comes down to practice. Come to practice ready and um, just one game at a time. One game at a time, yeah. Are you loving this? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you deserve everything you've 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 gained today. You do deserve that championship. You deserve this 3A North Player of the Year plaque that you're holding right there. We're proud of you and happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Melissa Nelson, right there, everybody. That is me. She goes by me. She has a nickname, and she did so well today. Congratulations, Melissa Nelson, and the Windrock Lady Scouts. Congratulations to them and all that they have done and accomplished on this one today. It's been an incredible, incredible day today in Window Rock. And before I leave, before I uh, check out of the broadcast, and maybe a handful of people still left out there, I just do want to say this. I do want to say this real quick, a personal note, and that is it's been a very difficult day for me personally. Uh, I lost my, my sister, Doreen, to cancer yesterday. And uh, she fought a, a long battle, seven-year battle with cancer. And uh, she lost that battle yesterday. And so if you wouldn't mind offering a prayer for my sister's family, for her daughter, her grandchildren, and uh, that uh, that'd be comfort for them. And I thank you for that. It's uh, didn't want to say anything. I certainly didn't want to say anything before the broadcast. But I will say that in my heart, from the very moment we started the day, my today's effort uh, here in our broadcast, my personal contributions, my personal effort to the broadcast today, uh, you know, dedicated to my sister Doreen. And, uh, you know, I didn't certainly want to upset the moment for all of these great young athletes and, and uh, coaches and fans because this is your moment, this is their moment. And I didn't want to spoil that by, uh, you know, discussing this before our broadcast today. Uh, it was this was a difficult day as you might imagine but uh, you know I I uh, I just got to say uh, you know it, it, it reminds you that uh, life is precious and life is short and uh, if I could just say one other little personal to everybody out there forgive your friends and family forgive your friends and family maintain those relationships get over things Remember that life is precious and life doesn't go on forever. And above all, give your heart and your soul to Jesus Christ. We're going to wrap this thing up. Final score, Window Rock 57, page 51 in the girls' 3A North Region basketball championship game. The coverage presented by Choice, NTUA Wireless. For our entire crew, for our great team that brought you this great production all throughout the last three days. Guys like our producer, Derek Simmons, the hardest working man in the business and so talented. To uh, our technical director, Julio K. Julio, you're the man, Julio. Outstanding work today. Outstanding job. As you look at some of those graphics, the Tallman Buck and Bulls folks joining us as presenting sponsors of our coverage, Choice NTUA Wireless. Thank you, Choice. Can't do it without you. Holbrook Family Dentistry as well. Big thank you to Holbrook Family Dentistry. Thank you to Leonard Keone. Great job on the camera. Thank you to Jessica Kay for the entire crew. Floyd Simmons saying thanks to Malcolm Young and all the great athletic directors up north. And uh, we'll see you in the state playoffs. God bless you. And uh, so long, everybody, from Window Rock. <laughs>